Thoroughbred Action is presented by Hardacre Farm. Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm your host, Acacia Courtney, and today I am live at our beautiful training facility, Palm Meadows, getting to see some fantastic horses work in preparation for their next bid on the racetrack. There's a few races on the card today, so let's check out the track and weather conditions. The track is fast and the turf is firm with highs in the low to mid 90s. Bam. Race number one is a mile and a 16th on the turf, a maiden claiming with a purse of $19,000 for three year olds and up. The two home power will be ridden by Jose Alvarez. Racing at Gulfstream. Good start for the favorite Big City Heart with Dublin Tinker right alongside. Moving out wide on the course is El Rustico. And El Rustico is on the offense to try to take the lead in the run to the first turn. From the rail, Awesome Relic tries to keep his spot. And Big City Heart had to tap on the brakes a little bit there while racing in third. Four wide is Judas Novel with Dublin Tinker to his inside. Pocketed up is Dawn Patrol between horses Assertion and two to the trailer, Home Power. They run around the first turn at a controlled early pace, and El Rustico and jockey Gerardo Corrales control things three parts of a length. Big City Heart is there second. Up on the outside, Judas Novel is moving closer, so too a tugging awesome relic with Dublin Tinker on the outside. In between horses is Dawn Patrol alongside Assertion. These top seven within a length and a half of each other, and it's three to the trailer, home power. 23 seconds for the opening quarter. Now up to take the lead is Big City Heart battling right back El Rustico from second. Racing in third now is uh, Dublin Tinker in between horses. Goes Assertion. Down at the inside is Dawn Patrol. Wide is Judas Novel. A length and a half in front of Awesome Relic who's been shuffled to second last. And Home Power is last as they round the far turn. 47 and 1 for the opening half mile. And Tyler Gaffleone and Big City Heart on the board at 7 to 5 with the lead. El Rustico continues on second from Assertion in third. Along the inside, moving up to be fourth is Awesome Relic in front of Dawn Patrol after three quarters and 111 and one. They run to the top of the stretch. El Rustico, tough on the inside, has a narrow lead. Big City Heart is right back at him from second. Then it's assertion with Dawn Patrol up the inside through the final furlong. El Rustico getting away. El Rustico's opened a four length lead now. The battle's on for second. Awesome Relic and assertion on the outside. El Rustico wrapped up. Up for second was Awesome Relic, third was Assertion, then Big City Heart and Dawn Patrol in 142 and 4. Number 7, El Rustico wins the opener, ridden by Dorado Corrales, trained by Augustin Bazzara, and owned by Laurelis Racing, Inc. Race number 2 is 6 furlongs on the main track, a maiden claiming with a purse of $25,000, 4 fillies and mares, 3 year olds and up. And they're up. From the rail, time and chance begins right on the money and tries to clear the field early, but Simmer has something to say about that. She'll move with her in the early stages. Away third is Tearless, followed by Sky Cotton and Glorious Tide, three better than Luz Mimi, and the first timer, My Mercedes, having trouble keeping up early as they go to the half mile pole. Time and chance now gets what she wants, which is a clear lead by a length and a quarter. From second, Simmer, Glorious Tide rides the rail into third. Tearless is now in fourth from Sky Cotton and fifth in the yellow, a stretch of four to Luz Mimi. And five more to my Mercedes. Three furlongs left to go. Time and chance and Amisael Jaramillo control their own fate. They go to the quarter pole in front after a 22 and two opening quarter time. Under the whip ride, second is Simmer. Back to third is Glorious Tide. Sky Cotton's in range for Cornelio Velasquez in front of Tearless. Lose Mimi improves with an inside lane. After a 45 and four opening half mile, they turn for home. Time and chance cuts the corner and opens a four length lead now. Lose Mimi's up into second, then Sky Cotton and Glorious Tide tied but through the final furlong the betters had this right it's time and chance going to take them gate to wire to win the early uh, start of the early pick for time and chance easily lose mimi up for second glorious tied third tearless fourth and sky cotton completes the high five in 111 and two number one time and chance wins race number two ridden by emmy sale jaramillo trained by kathleen o'connell and owned by brent fernand Let's take a break. We'll be back after these words.
Race number three is five furlongs on the turf, a claiming race with a purse of $18,000 for three-year-olds and up, which have never won two races. There are no scratches or jockey changes to report. And they're up. Toward the inside, Gasolina gets the first call with Cantrell moving up, and here's Antoine's emerging between horses. Antoine's takes the lead and moves away by a length and a half over Grand Junior, who races in second. Cantrell is out of there third, followed by Star Charlie and Power Heat, then Union Val. Gasolina down toward the inside, and three wide is up and left as they round the far turn. It's Antoine's in front. Grand Junior moves to him well second. Star Charlie is third. Cantrell is fourth. Then it's Power Heat and Gasolina, Union Val, and up and left as they run around the far turn turn. Antoine's trying to do it every step. Leads it by a neck. Grand Junior to the attack is second. Two and a half lengths back to the inside. Cantrell third. Then Gasolina, Star Charlie and Power Heat. Top of the lane. Many chances, but Antoine still has the lead. Grand Junior takes another run at him on the outside. Here's a late run from Power Heat through the final furlong. Power Heat with good looking momentum in the center and Power Heat runs by Antoine's to win. Power Heat going away. Antoine's did hold second. Got close after that in 55 and 4. Number five, Power Heat, makes his turf debut a winning one. Written by Lionel Reyes, trained by Francisco D'Andolo, and owned by Passion Stables. The fourth race today is six furlongs on the main track, a maiden claiming with a purse of $14,000 for fillies and mares, three-year-olds and up. And they're up. Awesome Missy gets the first call. Search the Beach comes away in good shape. Up on the outside goes Motown Cat. Alongside her is Manana. Down to the inside, Unknown comes away racing in fifth. Now a stretch of four to eight, a cowgirl. Then she's a Hellcat and Silver Casino. They run down the back stretch. Awesome Missy leads a half a length. Search the Beach is there second. Up on the outside, Motown Cat moves up into third at the half mile pole. Pocketed up fourth is the favorite Unknown. She's in range, only length and a half off the lead. It's a stretch of two to Manana, who puts four on Ada Cowgirl, and she's a Hellcat. And trailing the field is Silver Casino. Three furlongs left to go, and Awesome Missy at the 5 sixteenths leads three parts of a length. Search the Beach is there second. Unknown with an inside lane will need room from third. Motown Cat is now fourth a stretch of five to Manana as they run to the top of the stretch. Looks like Unknown's going to get through here. She'll cut the corner and try to get the lead from Awesome Missy. Search the Beach is back third down the outside in Motown Cat. Final furlong. Unknown just took the lead. Awesome Missy tries to stay with her second. Then to the inside, search the Beach in Manana, but Unknown has the lead. And Unknown and Tyler Gaffleone on their way to victory. They'll win it on the wire by two and a half lengths. Second Awesome Missy. It's going to be very close for third, either Motown Cat or Ada Cowgirl, then Silver Cassidy and 112 flat. Start number 13 did prove to be the lucky one for the number two unknown to break her maiden, ridden by Tyler Gaffleone, trained by Gustavo Delgado and owned by GDS Racing Stable. Race number five is one mile on the turf, a claiming race with a purse of $18,000 for three-year-olds and up, which have never won three races or three-year-olds. Scratch the main track only is nine, Curlin's Gem and 10, Primetime Tommy. And they're up. That's the gray Mongolian Sunday who gets the first call from Amazon King who comes away in the top flight. These two are quickest. They move a length better than Simferopol with friends with K. Mill. And a little bit tight between horses is Dave Hote with Mr. Money Pants down toward the inside. Second last is none tonight and Gran Tapoy is last of all as they run into the first turn. The pace appears to be average as Mongolian Sunday crosses and clears Amazon King and leads it by a length and a quarter. On the outside, friends with K. Mill is now racing in third from Mr. Money Pants. He's on hold between horses and back to fourth. Moving up on his outside and taking over fifth now is Simferopol. Much closer today. He's only a length off the lead. Down toward the inside is Dave Hote. It's a stretch of three to the two at the back. They include Grant Tapoy and none tonight. Opening quarter, Pokey, 25 and 2. Down the back stretch they go. Amazon King leads narrowly. Mongolian Sunday comes back for more from second. Simferopol is third. Then it's friends with K. Mill from fourth. On his outside goes Mr. Money Pants, a length and a half better than Dave Hote, who's asked to quicken while five lengths off the lead. The two trailers are none tonight in Grand Tapoy as they move into the far turn. The opening half mile was covered in 49 and 1. Amazon King ahead in front of Mongolian Sunday second. Simferopol put to a full out drive 
it from third. On fourth is Mr. Money Pants, trying to improve a bit now. A stretch of two lengths to Dave Hode, who's asked to quicken up. He's five lengths off the lead, and he's a length better than none tonight as they run to the top of the stretch. Three quarters, one twelve and two. Still many chances as they turn for home. Mongolian Sunday cuts the corner and rebreaks. Dave Hote punching between horses. Some Faripol on the outside through the final furlong. The favorite Dave Hote has secured racing room, and here he comes after Mongolian Sunday. Dave Hote is up for the lead. Dave Hote, the winner. Mongolian Sunday second, Simferopol third, then none tonight. Photo for fifth between Mr. Money Pants and Grand Sapoy. Number five, Dave Hote delivers as the favorite, ridden by Eddie Castro, trained by Marcial Navarro, and owned by Worldwide Promotion Enterprises. It's time for a break. We'll be back after these words. for horses and a commitment to breed champions is the foundation of Hardacre Farm. Founded in 1999 by Amy Tarrant, owner, breeder and trainer, Hardacre Farm, now based in Ocala, continues its tradition of success. From the Breeders' Cup to Gulfstream Park, Hardacre Farm, from the breeding shed to the racetrack, in pursuit of producing the best. Race number six is four and a half furlongs on the main track, a maiden claiming with a purse of $30,000 for the two-year-old fillies. And they're off. Monogamy blasts out of the gate to take the lead early on from Mimi Media, who comes away racing in second now. And up on the outside, here's early speed from Our Incredible Life. So Our Incredible Life goes on to tackle Monogamy for the front. Back third now is Mimi Media. Then comes Patty Humor from fourth. Down to the inside and trying to move up a spot, both Testaruda and Dazzling Dixie. Retreating is Patty Honor now back about seven or eight lengths off the lead. In between horses goes Court Princess with Porridge. As they run around the far turn, Testaruda's on the outside as they go past the quarter mile pole. Our incredible life and Tyler Gaffleone have blown this wide open. They've lead it now by five into second Dazzling Dixie. It's a stretch of two coming on third Mimi Media with less than three sixteenths to go. It's our incredible life making a dazzling debut here. Our incredible life under jockey Tyler Gaffleone win and win easily. Uh, five or six, maybe more than that when the smoke clears. Holding second Dazzling Dixie, Mimi Media third, then Patty Honor for fourth. Close for fifth, coming on was Court Princess on the outside of Testaruda in 52 and two. Number eight, Our Incredible Life wins the sixth race. Ridden by Tyler Gaffleon for his second one today. Trained by Ralph Zadie and owned by Averill Racing, CCF Racing, and Silver Oak Stable. Race number seven is seven and a half furlongs on the turf, a maiden claiming with a purse of $17,000. Four fillies and mares, three-year-olds and up. Scratch the four along the trail. And they're up. To start, starts well and establishes the lead already from Salsa Queen, who comes away in second. Up on the outside, Niagara Star moves up with bookkeeper Marie. American Kiki's going to get sent very wide into that first turn. Mona DeSanimo, the first-time starter, saves ground while third last. Second last is Kitten Star in the early trailer, Sweet Point. They run around the first turn to start. Leads it a half a length. Up on the outside, that's Niagara Star from second. Salsa Queen is a close-up third. To the outside and bookkeeper Marie from fourth. Then American Kiki, who's dropped over some to race fifth, about four lengths behind. Mona DeSanimo down toward her inside. The two at the back are Sweet Point and Kitten Star. 24 and 1 for the opening quarter speed. Down the back stretch they go. 3 to 5 the number to start the leader. On the outside, that's Niagara Star keeping her honest well second. They're in front of bookkeeper Marie and Salsa Queen, third and fourth. American Kiki starts to progress a bit while fifth in front of Mona DeSanimo. Second last, Kitten Star, and Sweet Point is the trailer. 
They move into the far turn now to start. Leads a half a length. On the outside, still there, second, Niagara Star. Stretch of three. Salsa Queen is now third from fourth, Bookkeeper Marie. American Kiki is next, followed by Mona DeSanimo. Then comes Kitten Star as they race past the quarter mile pole. 47 and two for the opening half mile, and they run to the top of the stretch. To start, still held together up front. Racing second, Niagara Star. American Kiki is next. Salsa Queen saves ground. Swinging to the center. Here's Mona DeSanimo under Cornelio Velasquez with momentum on the outside through the final furlong American Kiki just took the lead she'll have to deal with Mona DeSanimo who's up into second but the leader and winner is American Kiki moving clear American Kiki to win it by two and a half second Mona DeSanimo third Salsa Queen back up for fourth was Niagara Star in 130 and four number nine American Kiki makes it a hat trick today for jockey Tyler Gaffleone trained by Gustavo Delgado and owned by Grupo 7C Racing it's time for a break. We'll be back after these words. Next January, 12 horses, a million dollar buy-in for a $12 million purse. It is the world's richest race. It is the Pegasus World Cup. Race number eight is one mile on the main track, an allowance optional claiming with a purse of $43,000. Four fillies and mares, three-year-olds and up. And they're off. From the outside, Venom Girl and Favored Crowning Affair bounce around at the beginning, but they both begin nicely, led now by Beautiful Woman, who comes away on top. Beautiful Woman leads as they run out of the chute. Working off the fence to race into second is Double Entendre. Then to the outside goes Venom Girl. In between horses, it's Metamu alongside Crowning Affair. Up the inside goes Wild About Jazz. She's only four lengths behind. The three at the back are just before. She's the winner and Roll It Gal. Down the back stretch they go. They went 23 and 3 for the opening quarter speed. Beautiful Woman throttles open to a three and a half length lead. Double Entendre races in second toward the rail. Here's Wild About Jazz getting into third in front of Metamu in fourth. That's all up here apparently here for Venom Girl, who's retreating already just before passes her. The favorite crowning affair also got a crack on the shoulder to go forward as they whistle to half in 45 and 4. They run around the far turn. Beautiful Woman tries to bottom out the field under Vicente Gudel, leads it by four. Just before is running on well. Metamu is into second. And Metamu takes dead aim on Beautiful Woman. And moving to her is just before from third. The favorite crowning affair yet to be heard from. She's in shouting range but needing to go quickly after a three-quarter time of 110 and three. They run past the quarter pole and turn for home. The leader now is Metamu. Just before is second. Swung to the center is crowning affair. Between horses double on Tondra. Through the final furlong. It's Metamu who has the lead. Just before continues to run at her from second. Then double entendre crowning affair and beautiful woman but metamu has the lead it will be metamu and elvis trujillo to win it just before second double entendre third fourth crowning affair then beautiful woman in 138 and one number five metamu wins the eighth race ridden by elvis trujillo trained by Kristen mulhall and owned by red castle farms The ninth race and the last one today is five furlongs on turf, a claiming race with a purse of $18,000 for three-year-olds and up. Scratch the eight, Social Roy, and note that the four, Book the Crook, will be ridden by Raul Mena. And runners away. All except for Noble Prince, who missed the start and booked the crook checked after the beginning. 
All of that is great news for Super C Me, who heads off for the early lead. From the top shelf, here's Lakota Warrior to race on from second. Dream Enough Clarice is out of their third, followed by Harry He, and it's time to laugh. Then Super Secret. Noble Prince rushes up in traffic in front of an improving book to crook, and the trailer is Cupid's hit. They run around the far turn at two to one. The leader is Super C Me in front by a head. Right alongside second is Lakota Warrior. It's time to laugh. Drawing closer from third, Harry He will need room. Super Secret will just go around him here. A stretch of two to Dreaming of Clarice, then to the outside Noble Prince. They line up and run for home. It's time to laugh. Is now given the green light by Jesus Rios. Challenging three wide, four wide Super Secret. Super C Me battles on toward the inside. Final furlong. It's time to laugh. And on the outside, Super Secret surging at the leader. Super Secret inside the 16th pole. And it's time to laugh who kicks right back. Photo finish. Bob of the Nose is desperately close on the wire. Third was Super C Me. Then Lakota Warrior got close for fifth. Maybe dreaming of Clarice in 55 and four. Number nine, It's Time to Laugh, wins the finale. Written to victory by Jesus Rios, trained by Dave Casson and owned by Lawrence Fogel, LLC. In the late pick five, five of five paid $1,193.55. Four of five paid 1890. There was no winner in the super high five, so there's a carryover of $6,229.14. In the pick six, six of six paid $1,832.12. There's a carryover of $30,152.22. That's it for today. We'll see you back here tomorrow, Friday, nine races. And don't forget, you have to try and beat the expert. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Tell you, Jack, I'm so tired. Oh, my aching back. Let's hit the hay. 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 H